Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to my cybersecurity show today. Well, we are back at it with the Port Swiggers Web Security Academy series going through another lab. This one is a doozy. Well, it's really not. If you've watched uh, the previous episode in the series, this is going to look a little familiar. We're going to do a lot of the same stuff because it is another SSRF. There it is right there. Basic SSRF against another backend system. Just when you thought you couldn't have enough SSRF, they bring you another one, right? So let's get into, uh, I'll full screen this so we can read what is uh, all about the lab. It says, this lab has a stock check feature which fetches data from an internal system. To solve the lab, use the stock check functionality to scan the internal 192.168.0. something range for an admin interface on port 8080. Then use it to delete the user Carlos as we like to do. So that is what we're up against today. This is very similar to the other one. A uh, minor variation on that theme right there. Instead of going with a 127 or a local host, we're going to actually look for a non-routable IP that's on the internal network. And then, uh, as it says right here, look for an admin interface. And it is on port 8080. I've already cooked the lab up, so all we got to do is jump in there and start kicking around and see if we can find what's going on. So here is the lab, another shop. We can uh, buy things if we want. They're kind of pricey. I don't have that kind of money. You think I got $37.17 just laying around for inflatable holiday homes? You are just crazy. But we're going to hit on view details here. And we got the inflatable holiday home. I'm good. Actually, it does kind of sound fun, right? They, I envy my kids most of the time because they get to be kids and I'm way too big and broken to <laughs> break myself more inside of a bounce house. But here we have this uh, stock check feature. See if I can zoomy zoom zoom. You got this button. You click and it checks the stock and it tells you in London there are 192 units. All right. So here's the kicker. Behind the scenes, I have been uh, burp sweeping, burp, burp sweeping, burp sweeting this. Wow, sometimes the brain does not get into the right gear. You're just grinding, right? Grind, just can't find them, grind them. That's what my dad used to say. So, Burp Suite has been uh, monitoring all of this, and I can see there's that post request right around that region. Product stock. If we look down over here at the actual request, and I can get my mouse to hover over. We can look and in the body of the response is the API call. I'm gonna full screen this because I learned a lesson from the last one is that you guys can't see a lot of stuff that's over here, but I will highlight what we're doing there. And you can start to see it's a URL encoded string where you've got HTTP 192.168.0.1 on port 8080. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of work our way through the magic of 2 to 254 on this uh, IP range and see if we can't find an admin portal there. So let me get back here. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we do is we go over here to this lovely request and you just right click on it and click send to intruder. All right, we're going to intruder. There's the old intruder. And now in here, in all this payload positions area, we gotta look, we gotta find that 192.168 down here in the response body. And you can see if I hover over it, it kind of highlights that for you. Excellent. So it says 192.168.0.1 colon 8080. So we just wanna change, we want to, we wanna fuzz through that fourth octet on that IP address to see if we can get a hit on this. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight that one and I'm going to hit add. So 192.168.0.1, you just want to highlight with your, with your mouse, just hover over it and then click the add button over here. All right now that I've got that payload marked, we can go over into the payloads area and we can, well, that will take a while. So let's do this. Let's... Let's create, wow, that, I, should have, I should have thought of this beforehand. <laughs> but I didn't, I have solved the lab, I just haven't done it in a while, so I don't have a, a payload of one to 255. You know what, let's, let's go ask Google to count numbers from one through 255. I could do a for loop, I guess. That ought to be fun. Let's try that, huh? Let's see here, uh, we'll call it, 
Oh, uh, we'll call it VAR1. Yeah, VAR1. I don't know if that's big enough for you. VAR1 equals, uh, da, 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 da. we'll say, what, 1? I don't even, I don't think you have to do that. You just say 4i in, and it's like a range of 2 to dot dot 254. Bam. And then for that, do, I think that's how I do it. I can't remember where the semicolon goes. We'll find out real quick if this works. Do echo dollar sign I done. And then what we want to do is put that into a file of numbers.txt. Let's see if that works. And cat numbers. Oh, it only did 254. Weird. Why did it do that? 4i in range 2 to 254. I thought that's how that works. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh, you know why? Because <laughs> I'm overwriting. Duh. Don't forget. When you do a redirect, or yeah, when you're redirecting output, you got to make sure that if you use just one greater than sign, it's going to overwrite the file. If you use two greater than signs, then it appends to the file. Bada bing, cat numbers. Bam. Yes. Ooh, that was, whew, that was fun. All right, go back here, and then we will uh, load our Port Swigger Labs. No, it's... Let me move that to Port Swigger Labs. So this is a little easier for us to move. Let's see here. Move numbers into Port Swigger dot slash Port Swigger. Where's, uh, where's that at? Well, I guess I got to look for it. It's not. Where am I at? Okay, find. <laughs> uh, dash name. You guys are getting a, a real little fun treat here today. Uh, port Swigger, because I don't know where this is. Is What was it called? Got to go back. Port Swigger Labs. All capitalized. Cool. Go, Daniel. Port Swigger Labs. To dev null. Find that, please. There it is. It's in my home. Oh, I'm in the downloads folder. Ah, you got to pay attention to these things, Daniel. They'll get you every time. And there is that. So uh, if I just back up CD dot dot, and now I can copy, no, no, I'm going to move dot slash downloads numbers dot text to dot slash port swigger labs. Bam. Ha <laughs> ha. I have won the battle. I'll cancel this and then hit lo uh, load again because now it should be there. There it is. Numbers dot text. Whew. Man, you got way more than you bargained for in this episode, didn't you? Well, all right then. Okay, so that looks good. We should be able to be good to go. And, oh, there is one more thing. Mm -mm -mm. Daniel, you're almost losing your mind. We don't want to go for the store ID. We're looking for an admin, right? So I'm going to back everything off to the percent %2F after the 8080. Because percent %2F is a forward slash and we're going to call it admin because that's what they said it was, if I'm not mistaken. Back here. Don't need you, new tab. Right? Yeah, range for an admin interface. So I'm going to try admin to see if that works. Okay. I like what I see. It makes me happy. Let us, shall we, start attack? Now, we get that warning about being throttled. Hey, what are you going to do? All right, off we go. Um, so we got a 400, I got 500. I'm already seeing some action right around this section right here. So I could wait for this to be done, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling good because a 200 status code, as you remember, is a good code and lets me know that it did find this and this, this looks good. So I'm going to stop the attack and just, uh, hit hold X there. Nope. I can discard that. And it looks like it was at dot four. So now what do we do? Well, we go back to, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the proxy. Go to HTTP history. Let's take this post request and we will send it to repeater. And from the repeater, now I can, I can fire that off, right? And everything looks good, but that's not exactly what I want, right? I want to go back 
I want to change this to, and I'll make sure you can actually see what's going on here. So if you look over around this region, I'm, hello. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm highlighting from the end of this string all the way back to that percent two F taking that out of there. I'm hitting admin. Remember we're in repeater, so we can do whatever we want to this, mangle this up and have fun. And I want to change this from dot one to dot four. And don't worry, I'm going to, I'll make sure you can see this. So I'm going to highlight all this stuff. And if you look over here in the selected text, you'll see that it is it's right there, 192.168.0.4. And then we've got the port of 8080. And then after percent %2F, you've got admin. Everything works then we should get the admin page in our response right here and we'll see what we can see. So hit send it. All right, it's sent. We got a 200. That's always a good sign, right? Let's scroll through this lovely little thing and see if we can't find any interesting pieces of information. Oh, look, it says my lab's not solved. Well, that's sad. Don't worry, we're about to change that fact. And look, we are now in the admin panel. You can see that. Right there, got that selected text right over here highlighted. I've got my accounts, which is the admin. And then I've got this wiener. And I've got a delete function right there. And you can see that over here in selected text admin forward slash delete question mark username equals wiener and then delete. So it's tagged as delete, but we don't want to delete that one. We want to delete Carlos, which is right here. So all we got to do is copy that selected text. We will copy that. Actually, we don't even need the whole thing. We just got to grab the uh, after admin and just grab slash delete. There we go. Copy that. Just right click and copy. Come back over to our request section and paste it at the end of admin. Where's my paste? Paste, paste, paste. There it is. Pasty, pasty and hit send we got a 302 let's go back to here and let's see if once we go back to um let's just hit the the home okay there's a home just hit the home button daniel and oh look at that congratulations we solved the lab man that were fun don't you love solving labs? Isn't it a good time? Plus, you got to watch me try to remember how to do a bunch of bash stuff uh, that I don't get to do on a regular basis anymore. But still a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully you picked up a couple of tips and tricks in there as well for getting through these labs and why certain skills can be uh, useful in these situations. Until next time, everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe, notification bell, all the fun stuff. Leave a comment too, man. Don't... Don't be quiet. Don't be silent. Say something to me. Let me know whether you like it, whether you don't like it, what you'd like to see in the future, anything. Just say, hey, how's it going? How's the kids? How's the fam? <laughs> All right, everyone, until next time, keep hacking.